G'day Carbonites, welcome back to Ark Brutally Evolved here on the Ragnarok server. Uh, today I think we're going to continue building, but uh, we're just going to try a few of these eggs. So we've got a few that are ready to hatch. Leave those three in there to continue incubating. So um, I, I changed the INI settings, so um, the hatching multiplier is back down to default and what we're doing is we're letting the hatchery actually um take the incubation timer down because we were we always have issues um with breeding if if someone leaves a pair of dinos breeding um and they like accidentally forget about it or something all the dinos hatch uh before the hatchery can pick them up and it just um like it renders their base impossible to get near uh like people just crash as soon as they get close and they render in all the dinos so we have to um we have to do a dino wipe and wipe like all of that species like just fucking make them all extinct um to to get the server back running so uh this this should be a lot better now all right so let's uh let's try this we're we're looking for what four four ninety eight i think it was God, even on fucking, even on one percent, it's still got a minute left. Let's just fucking do them all. Oh, I should get the uh, raptor before they hatch. Hopefully. Oh, they, uh, they fixed the pounce on the raptor. Oh, I'm so excited. I was trying it out before. It actually, it works really good now. I'm, uh, I'm a little disappointed though. They, they didn't fix the, the buff. Oh, there we go. 498. Yeah, that's fucking piece of piss. So we're looking for a female. So what do we got? What, what are you? Oh, Jesus. All right, just ease up. Oh, we got a mutation there as well as a 500. A few mutations. Just fucking... It's a male. Okay. All right, ease up. Holy shit. I don't really care about the uh, the mutation ones. You guys are probably going to be pissed if I kill those, but... The, the stats on these guys are a shit house, so... There's no point um, keeping the mutations, because we'll probably just overwrite them. There we go. There's a female. All right. So let's um, let's change the name of that one to Final Gen One Female. I believe we have a space in there. Yes. Okay, and the other one will unclaim it if we can access it. Jesus. Yeah, you. Doesn't look like there's any color mutations. Although you can't fucking see when that thing's gone. <laughs> Alright, let's kill them all. Alright, we got them all, I believe. Over the top, brilliant. Alright, this let me in. Okay, so these guys should not be wandering. Yeah, that's good, okay. Um, so we can actually kill this one. Actually, we'll just leave it here, because we'll get the raptor to kill it. And that's our final. So we'll chuck that over there. And we're going to wait for you to grow up. Oh, 
I'll have to mark these guys as dead uh, in the breeding app just to help keep track of it all. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, we're done. Um, yeah, so we can we can kill these guys now and um, and trade in for uh, well get get for uh, shoulder mounts. So we can we can also get like Trudons and um, Ichthyornis because um, we've um, disabled those guys on the server. So and, and you know part of the series we need to tame two of every creature. So we could do that. I think I want to get Shine Horns. I think that'd be a good uh, mount to have just for light. Let's, um... Oop, no, I didn't want to pick up your shit. I wanted to pick up you. Let's put these guys in here. And we'll kill them off. Oh, stuck. Here we go. Oh, just... Here we go. That should hopefully cut down on the fucking Microraptor eggs that we're getting. So we only have one pair. And they've got all the stats um, from these guys, so... Should be good. Alright. Beautiful. Okay, so that's done. Um, yeah, once we get a good stockpile of the Iguanodon eggs... Fucking hell, this is, uh... It's going out of control. The item... Item, uh, collectors having trouble keeping up with it. Yeah, so once we get enough Iguanodon eggs, we'll, we'll kill off the, the rest of those females. Those bred up ones. Uh, just yeah, I wanted to get a, a bit of a head start so we we'd have a, a good stockpile going, so we can go out and tame some deodons and and get perfect levels on them. Uh, Eighty three. I was uh, making up some kibble. Yeah, so there's the trikes done. Um, what do we got? We'll do parasaur next. Oh, this is so good having the industrial cooker. And just come in here. Put in whatever I want. And then it's just being done. Don't need to worry about fucking refilling jars. Oh, it's such a nightmare. Okay, so let's grab... All the eggs. We've got another seven. Another seven iguanodon eggs. Ninety. Ninety Iguanodon. I think we'll we'll start making them. This should be done. Yep. Alright. There we go. Wait, I only pulled ten. Did I only type ten? Wait, what does it need? Oh, we sh should should have enough. We've we've run out of something. Might be could be jerky, or it could be rare mushrooms. Shit, are we? No, there's the prime jerky there. Um, must be rare mushrooms. No, we've got rare mushrooms there. What's going on? Medjo berries. Oh, maybe fiber? I did I did burn through a lot of fucking fiber. We we had we had heaps, but um, those water foundations, 500 fiber each. Fuck, we went through all the fiber. <clears throat> and I was I was dumping it because we had like 150,000 of it. 
All right, shit, we're gonna have to um, go out and get some fiber, which is pretty easy. Where's the megatherium? Oh, it's it's over at the uh, building spot. Yeah, so I've got a little bit to show you guys. I did some building off camera. Honestly, it's um, I hate I hate recording the process of the building. It, it pisses me off. So yeah, we've got the water in. Um, this was actually a lot easier than I thought. So um, all I did is I started here because we had a nice uh, square snap point. And I didn't take the lower snap point. I, I removed all those foundations. So these are snapped directly to, to this. So you can see how they naturally sit lower than the foundation anyway. And, uh, and then from there, I just continued a line down here. So they're, they're still in the square um, pattern, uh, but the, because they're underneath the foundation, like it just, it looks like it goes up to the foundation. So yeah, it, it turned out really, really nice. And um, I uh, just enabled uh, some fish in certain locations. Obviously it needs to be in a spot where we have the foundation uh, the water foundation in a in a good uh, snapping spot because if it's in a location like this uh, that you'll see the fish s swimming into the uh, foundation so it looks a little bit odd yeah the the grass sort of looks like uh, seaweed and stuff so it's not too bad so it goes all the way up here We've got this nice big uh, pond here, which is going to be inside the uh, the uh, kibble farm. And there's going to be a bridge that goes across. Um, maybe, maybe from this point here, and probably goes over to here. Something like that. I'm Jesus. I, I can walk on water. <laughs> um... Yeah, and then we'll have stairs going up here. So it, this, this staircase isn't going to be for dinos. It's just going to be for the player to, to go upstairs. So yeah, it's going to look good. Oh, a little bit of lag. So, okay. So you saw all this. The, uh, the new staircase system and everything. And then... Um, you saw this as well, but you didn't see this extension. So I've just got some slopes here. This is the old way how we used to build uh, kibble farms because you would need to have the dino, uh, the dino's ass uh, sitting off the edge so the egg would drop down on the ground. And then that way you wouldn't have to come upstairs to collect eggs. All the eggs would be down on the ground here because all these ones have their ass hanging off. So there'd be eggs here. And then you'd have eggs here from the from the top layer. And yeah, it made it so much easier. Now obviously we, we don't need to do that because the item collector is going to pick up the eggs for us. But I still wanted to do this just for show. Because I like the way it looks. So we've got um, some spots here for small dinos basically. Um, so all the large dinos are going to be down the bottom. And then we'll bring all the small ones up here. And then on this side here, we've got another little section here, but I got some uh, catwalks. So sarcos uh, fit really nicely on these two. You you put um, you put their uh, feet on um, like on two catwalks, and um, yeah, the eggs just drop straight through down on the ground. It's really good. And then we've just got some perches here for some birds. So it should be, uh, should be good. We should, we should have enough space. Um, I mean, down here we've got a fucking shit ton. But yeah, I really, I really like it so far. Um, I did end up actually enclosing, uh, the whole thing. Because I, I don't know how to, how I should go about, uh, like keeping the dinos in. Um, but keeping the, the structure open, so 
I don't know. I just sort of I put some windows in to try and uh, break up the the giant flat wall that we have. And yeah, it's not too bad. Obviously, it needs a little bit more detail, but it's uh, it's pretty good. Um, I can't remember what I came over here for. Oh, we needed the megatherium so we can go get fiber. And sadly, this was the area I was getting bushes. So we sort of, uh, sort of wrecked that. Alright, so I'm going to cut all this out and I will see you guys back at base. Oh, there's that aloe pack. Yeah, you keep running down that way, Gallimimus. Nice work. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, that Gallimimus is coming back this way. Fuck. That was close. I'm gonna puck it up my butthole. We screwed around for a little bit longer. We would have, uh, would have, we would have copped that. All right, we're done. All right, where is the yeah, scorched earth? All right, let's put that away. We've also got some fiber on us from harvesting those uh, silk plants. Fiber, 117,000. Wow. Good harvest run. We've got a little bit of wooden thatch in here. Stone and flint. Let's go down to the kitchen. Get all the berries off. Uh, we'll put that kibble away. Uh, what eggs do we have? Uh, what the? Oh, that's right. Yeah, we only did ten. So let's let's start that up again. There we go. Now we're doing all of them. Twenty thousand. Another twenty thousand. Okay, so major berries. Yeah, major berries are half. That's only ten thousand. So it's just like the the ratio that you get them at. Armor berry, azul berry, and tinto berry are like a times two sort of thing. And then major berry, narco berry, and stim berry. Uh, times one thing. There you go, it looks good. Yeah, 22,000 narco berries. Oh, good, yeah, we've got over 20,000 um, stim berries as well. We should probably uh, take it easy on the Tinto Berries. We seem to have quite a few there. Or I guess we could uh, could use them up and make some more um, Appetizer. Appetizer X. Um, yeah, let's, let's get this. Um, wonder if we can make a thousand. Go. 
Not enough resources to pull. I'd say that's all the stim berries that we have. Yeah, 27,000. So we made 690. That's, that's good. I'm happy with that. Um, but sadly, we're going to have to do another berry run. <laughs> Maybe we should tame a fucking a Bronto or something. No, because the, the Bronto is really slow. Um, Brontos are only good for when you have like dense uh, like bush. Um, you know, distribution. But our area, it's like uh, it's scattered across an entire fucking continent. So we need something fast that can get to each of the uh, different nodes quickly. It's just about to go dark, isn't it? It's fucking... Looks like it's about... Maybe 5.30, 6 o'clock. It's fucking 8.30. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and we don't need these water foundations on us, so let's get rid of those. They weigh a fair bit. You need to move. Yeah, let's put those away. Yeah, 116. So we're getting pretty close to being able to bring dinos in. In fact, we could probably start doing it now. Which would give us a good idea of what's uh, actually going on. Let's um let's start doing that. So hmm contemplating whether we should run wiring from our generator up there across through the bridge and everything or if we should just place a new generator down here means says there's two generators well three generators we got to keep track of to make sure they don't run out of fuel but I, I don't mind that i think that's um i think you know that's part of the the process of expanding um, you know, there's, there's more things to keep track of and all that sort of stuff. So pretty sure you've got it. Yeah, you've got that. Um, we will need some more cabling though. So let's get the lighting sorted and then, um, then we'll get a feeding trough over there and the item collector and then we'll start bringing the dinos over. All right, so we need a generator in here somewhere. It's actually a, a good spot here. Yeah, because that's right in the middle, isn't it? And then, yeah, we've got... We can't do it here, but... Uh, actually, you guys can't see shit. Um... We could definitely do it here. Like, because uh, it sits up a little bit higher than, uh, than a full ceiling. A full wall, I mean. Let's go to grab the uh, Megatherium. We get a yellow drop over there. Nice. Yeah, I really like the water around the, the outside of it. I think that looks really cool. Okay, so we want to put a door here. And then we're going to get rid of these and replace them with walls.
So now we've got, yeah, fairly decent sized, um, thing in here. We don't need these ceilings, do we? Don't think we do. That's good. Yeah, it's not much we can do about this. I might just block it off. So, um... Just place a wall in there. This is the little uh, maintenance uh, section. So we'll put the generator, maybe the item collector. Might be good to put it in here. Because it'll be a central location. And uh, maybe the feeding trough as well. So let's see if we can fit this in here without it poking through the stairs. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it's perfect. All right. And then, yeah, item collector, feeding trough. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. That's actually awesome that we have this, this drop right here. Oh, nice. I mean, I know we, we've got a better one, but it's um, it's actually, it's too powerful. Because we're, um, we're, we're meant to be, I think it's 300. 300 is the max for a loot drop. And uh, upgrading is, uh, you're allowed to go up to 200. I believe that's the way we're m making it work. Because, um... Currently, the, the way we have it is, um, like, we our weapons do more damage than than dinos, uh, which I, I didn't like. The dinos, you know, your dinos should always be able to do more damage. Otherwise, there's no point in taming anything. You may as well just run out, run around on foot and, uh, and shoot everything. Okay, so that's good. We've got power. Um, let's make an item collector and a feeding trough. And show feeding range. I want to make sure it's getting the whole, the whole pen. <clears throat> Holy shit! Fucking massive. It even fucking covers half our base. Comes through right here. Now see, the thing is with this um, S plus feeding trough is it actually blocks spawns as well. So we're not going to get anything spawning in this radius. And that's fucking massive. That goes right out to the field. We could use the vanilla one, but I think we'd probably need about six to be able to cover this entire area. And and that's a lot of work, like keeping all those things topped up and, and shit like that. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure what to do. Let's put that guy there. Can we change the range? No, it's just what it's going to feed. Uh, let's show the range of this. Make sure it's covering the entire pen. Oh, that's better. That's a that's a nice snug fit. So it goes up to the wall. And it goes right up to here. So that's uh, that's really good. That means um, if we have dinos inside here, because I'm not obviously I'm not going to have brontos in there. 
So Brontos and Gigas and stuff up here and and they'll still get uh, collected. So yeah, this is a, it's a really nice size. All right, I'm happy with that, that's good. Just gotta get the um, dinos in here and then turn everything on, basically. And then finish building it, of course. All right, so I'm not going to bother putting dinos over there that we're using. So these guys here are going to stay here. Um, we're going to be breeding these guys soon, so I might leave these guys. So it's just, just these guys here, I guess. Alright, let's, um, behavior, ignore group whistles. Alright, so I wanted to see what these uh, EA ones look like as a makeshift uh, drawbridge. Because we definitely need a drawbridge before we start bringing dinos over, holy shit. The rubber banding on that is bullshit. Yeah, I like it. Yep. I'm just going to go grab a drink real quick. I have to stop by the kitchen as well and pick up some food. Actually, we've got a tap in the kitchen. All right, is this done? No, not yet. Oh, we can start. Oh, no, we can't. We've got no fucking oil. Shit. I'm gonna have to do that pretty soon. What's going on here? Oh, did we need oil or something and we pulled the oil out of it? Rare mushrooms. Why were... Why did the rare mushrooms get... Whatever. Okay, um, see I'd probably prefer to have the Paki Rhino next to the trikes, but for now I'm just gonna put the dinos in. Oh, that's right. Kanos are all wonky. You can't have them too far back, because they, they spaz out. Uh, they can't go through double, uh, like a dino gate, can they? Fuck. I got in the water. Yeah, no, they, they definitely can't do that. They, they never could. So, that's why we've got this, uh, nice big gate here. Ah, uh, this way. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the tail. Um, let's 
not much I can do about it. Let's go over this side. Yeah, it doesn't matter how we do it. We're going to we're going to block at least one path. So, we can either block uh, the one behind us or the one in front of us. Let's try and get this guy over a little bit more. Yeah, that's uh that's going to do it. Oh shit, the tail's a lot longer than I thought. It's, it's fucking wrapping around the bottom there. Alright, I think um I think we might leave it there. And I'll do the rest off camera. We should get um a cheeky thumbnail as well. Cause it's uh it's looking sweet now. Well, it's half built. But yeah, you should be able to like picture it now. Whereas before, um, it would have been very hard to to see what I was thinking. Fuck yeah, that's pretty good. I wish I could have like a, a hatch frame or something that I could stuff the fucking Sarko tail in here. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I like the way this, this wood looks. Yeah, I think we're just going to leave it like that. All right. I hope you enjoyed the episode guys, as always don't forget to lead your targets and I'll see you next time.